Good morning. We'll begin today with in-class practice on uh, velocity time graphs and equations of motion. So go ahead and uh, pick that up. It should be on the back table. Everyone get a copy of it. It'll take you about five minutes to uh, work on this. So knock this out quickly. Pause the video. We will come back and go over it then. Okay, at this point, I assume everyone has had time to uh, complete the, uh, the, the in-class practice sheet. So let's work through the first problem. In the first one, we're using a velocity time graph. We're going to uh, answer all the questions below about the motion of this object. First thing we're asking is, how far did the objects travel between 0 and 4 seconds? Now, if we look at this, and another way of asking that is, what is the displacement of the object? If you recall, with a velocity time graph, the thing that we have to do is find the area underneath the curve. In this particular case, it's pretty straightforward. The area underneath the curve is just going to be this rectangular region. So the area, the uh, displacement, delta x is going to be equal to the area in this case is going to be 4 times 4, that will be 16 meters. If we had asked about the displacement out to 6 seconds, then you would have had to take in this other figure as well. You would have had to find the triangle and the rectangular area for that. So just remember, anytime we have a velocity time graph, we have a velocity time graph, when we ask you to find the uh, how far an object has traveled, that's asking for the displacement, find the area underneath the graph. Now question B is asking what is the object's instantaneous speed at two seconds? We can read that right off the graph. At two seconds, I look at the graph, we're going the, the speed, the velocity is four meters per second. Finally, we're asking what property of the graph, what is the thing that gives us the acceleration between 4 and 6 seconds. If we look at the graph again, we see between 4 and 6 seconds, this the velocity is increasing. Look for the slope. Find the slope of the graph. If we asked you to calculate it, you could do that. The slope would be equal to, the, the, the uh, slope would be just rise over run. In this case, it would be 8 minus 4 meters per second divided by 6 minus 4 seconds. Now, I'm not asking you to do that in this case, but I'm giving you some extra information here. So it would be 4 meters per second over 2 seconds, or 2 meters per second squared. Great. Okay, so next problem. We have a motorcycle starting from rest. It's reaching a speed of 30 meters per second in 4 seconds. So we're asking you for a, a couple of things here. First, we want to know what is the initial velocity? Seeing that it's starting from rest, that's one of our givens. The initial velocity is going to be equal to 0 meters per second. Now we're asked what is the motorcycle's acceleration? Here we need to look at all the other information that we're given. 30 meters per second is the final velocity. 4 seconds is the time. So you're being asked to find the acceleration given initial velocity, final velocity, and time. So what equation do we use? Acceleration is going to be the change in velocity over change in time. In this case, 30 meters per second over 4 seconds. Do that calculation, you'll find that it is 7.5 meters per second squared. Finally, what is the motorcycle's displacement at 4 seconds? In order to find the displacement, that's another way of saying that is how far has the motorcycle traveled? So now we want to find the final position. That will tell us how far it's gone. We have the same givens. We have the initial velocity. We've got final velocity. It might be useful. We have time and we have acceleration. So with all of those givens, 
and finding the final. <coughs> yeah, that's me. I'll edit out that sneeze. <laughs> we'll find our final position is going to be the uh, same equation that we've used previously. We have our initial position, set that equal to zero in this case, plus initial velocity times time, plus one half times acceleration times time squared. So plug in the numbers. Initial velocity times time, that is also going to be zero, because our starting velocity was zero. So the displacement is going to be one half times 7.5 times 4 squared. So go ahead and do that calculation. You will find the answer. And that is all, all you need to know for, for this uh, mini quiz. On the test, you can definitely be expected to have a velocity time graph. You'll need to know how to analyze it. You'll be asked to find both acceleration and find the displacement. You'll have a series of word problems where you, you have to find acceleration. You might have to find time. In all these cases, there will be some information given to you, and you'll be asked for something else. Use the givens and the uh, other a quantity that you're being asked to find to figure out which equation is appropriate. So plug in the numbers of that equation and solve. And that's all you've got to do. All right, at this point, I, there are a series of other videos linked on the calendar. I would ask you to watch those. We'll learn a little bit more about this uh, phenomenon of acceleration due to gravity. One of the uh, fascinating things about gravity is that all objects will accelerate at the, the same rate, regardless of how massive the object is. We'll look, look at some examples where we see a feather and a heavy object accelerating at, at the same rate when all the air is taken out of, of a chamber. We'll see one in a vacuum chamber. We'll also see one of the Apollo astronauts doing this experiment on the surface of the moon. After that, I'll have you work on the uh, worksheet 3.3. There's a series of questions with uh, involving acceleration due to gravity. If you have any questions on, on that, if you're not sure how to approach it, I've linked the hints document on the calendar itself. Look at those. They will help you get started in how to answer those uh, questions. We will go over that when I see you next week. All right, take care, everybody. I will see you then. Bye-bye.